All right, people, what I'm doing here tonight is going to show you how I go to the moon. And what I've done already is I have started the sea star. I leveled it to point one. I've got the uh, compass calibration done. And I started by going to a DSO, which was M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. Once it got there, I canceled the routine on it, and I did an autofocus to get the stars nice and sharp. Now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to start the imaging process and let it do a horizontal calibration. That's very important here. And right now I'm pointing towards more of the northeastern sky, which is my open sky. So this should be successful. It's a matter of, as those of you who have done this, you've, you know it takes time. So bear with me. I originally had Stardust from the very beginning, but somehow the video went off. So I'm starting it from where the M33 was already acquired and done the autofocus. All right, what do we got? We're up to 80% here. Let's get there's got the 90. I have a nice open sky to the northeast. I'm using a Samsung tablet, Android. There's 99. And once the horizontal calibration is complete, I'm just going to let it take two pictures of M33. I really have already completed M33. I don't need any more pictures. I'm just going to let it take two pictures to let it settle in more or less. And I'm gonna wait till there are, where is it here? Oh, it's not gonna start yet, okay. Um, it's gonna enhance it here, I gotta wait for that. And then when it comes up here, that little counter that's up here in the upper right-hand corner, when it goes to 20, I'm gonna stop it. I, I don't really need any more images of M33, I'm done with that project, okay? But I need to get this, this is just to allow it to settle in and get the image enhancement going and all the preliminaries here. So just bear with me while it does this here. Hope everybody's got some clear weather tonight. The moon's staring at me through the window here. Okay, almost done. There we go. All right, initialization complete, about to auto-enhance, one second. Okay, now here's the counter. I want it, when it gets to 20, I'll be shutting it off. I don't need any more images. So we're just going to let it get to 20 there. I'm taking 10 second images. There's the 10. Now as soon as it gets to 20, we'll shut it off. There's the 20. Okay, let's go down here and shut it off. There. Uh, okay, now, I'm done with M33. I only need to get initialized and get going and get the horizontal calibration. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get out of that and go back into the main menu here. See, I'm trying to get where I'm in focus here. And I'm going to go to Solar System. And there's the moon. And I'm going to say go to as soon as I can hit it with a finger right <laughs> hold on here for a second there we go now we'll see if it goes to the moon <laughs> ah there it is now it's going to ask me is it in the center sooner or later there we go and I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to hit this top button here to allow for corrections to keep it in the center. And that's how I find the moon every time. So if this helps you, great. If it doesn't help you, I'm sorry. But this is what works for me. Um, sometimes you just have to figure out ways. And I do believe ZWO put it in a tutorial to do it this way. 
I do believe that. Somewhere along the line, I've read that someplace. But that's how I find the moon. It centers it right up in the center. So everybody have clear skies. I hope this helps somebody. See you out there underneath the stars.